Good day lovelies, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking to you about how you can establish a healthy communication in your relationship. Communication is an integral part of every relationship and when you fail to learn how to communicate perfectly with your partner, it can pose a lot of problems. So today I'll be sharing my tips on how you can establish a very healthy communication with your partner. Number one is learn to listen. Sitting down to listen to a very long epistle by your partner can be very boring and frustrating, but you just have to learn how to sit and really listen to everything they have to say. This will make them feel that they are being heard and not just that, it will make them understand that you are really there for them, that you really understand them even when what they are saying may not really make sense to you. So learn to listen to everything they have to say. Give that listening ear. It may take your time, yes, but you have to really learn to sit and stay put. If you can give that time to listen to them, they will really feel and believe that you understand them. Number two, avoid noise in communication. Never use words that are not complacent or generic in your relationship during conversations. When you bring up words that is strange to your partner, it can pose a lot of noise in that conversation and this will pose a lot of problem. So instead of trying to use words that will cause them to keep asking, what are you talking about? Can you explain further what you mean? Just use simple words that your partner will understand in order to avoid total noise from that conversation. Number three, you can disagree but do not dismiss and do that respectively. Okay? Okay? Disagreement is something that is very common during conversation. So there comes a time whereby you disagree about certain things to an extent and you may want to exit the conversation. But exiting the conversation will create a very bad impression. So you don't want to create such impression of you can't really sit and have a conversation even when there is trouble or even when there is problem. So when there is trouble or when um, challenges comes up during conversation, the best thing you can do is to sort it out out there. Never sleep on an unresolved argument because it will create strain on your relationship. When you have challenges, which is very common in every relationship, try as much as you can to sort it out, okay? Definitely there will be differences, but no matter what the differences are, try your best to sort it out. And when you're done doing that, you can apologize where necessary because definitely you must have hurt each other using some certain ways or saying some certain things. So you have to learn how to apologize at this point in time and probably end it with a very beautiful hug. Okay? So if you do such, definitely your communication skills will really heighten. Number four, openness and honesty. This is a big one. Many people find it difficult to be open during conversation. They want to hide things. They want to hide stuff, okay? So you have to learn how to be very open and honest during conversation. When there is a challenge, when there is a problem, when there is something bothering you, learn to be open during conversation. Talk about it, be honest about it make your partner understand how you really feel okay when you start hiding things when you start bottling things up you are not going to have a very healthy communication with your partner okay because a time will come whereby you will start reacting based on what you already have in mind and your partner don't even know about it so learn to be very open during conversation be honest even if it will hurt your partner find the perfect way to say it for them to understand but in everything be very open about it say the truth be honest it will help your relationship to be more solid number five use us instead of i during conversations and this will give the parties involved a sense of oneness a sense of belonging they'll feel that they are in this together okay so don't start using i me at all time learn to carry everyone along this will help everyone to really accept their mistakes for instance let's say you want to say i understand you have been doing something wrong 
you can say something like we have been doing things wrong in this relationship and i think we should try and seek out ways to sort it out by saying something like this you have given yourself and your partner a sense of belonging a sense of oneness you believe that we are in this together number six take responsibility and eliminate the blame game in most relationships individuals will want to always push the blame to someone else they will want to either blame an event or probably their partner for their words all right but learning to take responsibility when you're wrong will give your partner some sense of justice and wholeness when you are wrong accept that you are wrong apologize when necessary and try to make it up to your partner okay this will give them that sense of happiness that you are there for them and you understand them and you feel their pains when you learn to apologize when necessary you will definitely have a very healthy communication you cannot communicate with somebody or you cannot have a perfect communication with somebody that you always blame at all times especially when you are the one who is wrong okay so learn to accept your mistakes take responsibilities for them stop blaming people stop blaming events rather blame yourself for doing the wrong thing apologize and make it up to your partner all right number seven choose the right word during conversation we understand that when conversation goes south, we have to become conscious of the word that we use. But when you have that consciousness that during conversation, you have to really use the right word. You will see that you will check your tone, you will check your mannerism, you also check the words that you use during conversation. Because most of the time, it's not really about what you said, but how you said it. For instance, I remembered having issues with my partner, my husband during conversations. Sometimes he always say, your voice is kind of high. And I never for one day thought that it's something necessary. I didn't even understand what they mean until I recorded myself unknowingly. Then when I heard my voice, I was like, why am I shouting? And he said, this is how you talk. You know, it really scared the shit out of me, for real. You have to check the way you talk, your tone, your mannerism the words the choice of words you use during conversations it is very important the tone that you use to talk to somebody will determine how they will respond to you so even if you're venting even if you're angry provided you are very conscious that i'm not going to use the wrong word or i'm going to choose my words carefully you will see that no matter how angry you are you will not say a wrong thing to your partner okay always check that be very mindful of it and you will definitely have a healthy conversation with your partner the last for today will be making use of a time limiter i understand that some people may not really understand what time limiter is time limiter is a process of using a timer during conversation and this is very important especially when you find yourself in a relationship whereby conversation does not go smoothly for instance um, the couples or the partners involved get to talk back and forth at each other nobody is giving each other that room to say what they want to say by introducing a time limiter it can go a long way to help this set of couples for instance you can say um, we are going to give each other um, three minutes or five minutes to say whatever they want to say and when this time is set the other partner don't have to interrupt no matter what until the time is exhausted then you can now have your own time to say everything you want to say so it is a very good process that can help couples that find it difficult to listen to each other during conversation so by introducing this definitely you will see that everybody will have equal amount of time to say everything they want to say if you want to vent you have your three minutes or your five minutes to vent to your maximum capacity okay so i think by introducing it it will help a lot of couples have a very healthy conversation so this is it for today and i hope that you find it useful okay so um, if you like it i think you should consider subscribing because there will be more all right I would love to see you next time and until then, stay blessed.